Number one, we have 6.4 times 10 to the negative 3 power over 0.8 times 10 to the positive 6 power. We see that we have a multiplication on the top and also on the bottom. So what we can do is we can break down this fraction into two fractions and then multiply them together. Let me show you. So this is the same as I can first focus on the 6.4 over 0.8 and then we can put down just one multiplication and then we put on the second fraction which is this 10 to the negative 3 over 10 to the positive 6 power we get to do this it's because to multiply two fractions what do we do we can just multiply the top together and then over multiply the bottom together so when we have multiplications on the top and on the bottom we get to break them down into multiplication of two fractions be careful if it's a subtraction or addition, we cannot do this. Anyways, to finish this up, we can first focus on the 6.4 over 0.8. We have to divide. And we notice that the 6.4 has one decimal place, so is the 0.8. So what I can do is move the decimal point once to the right on the top and also do the same on the bottom. As long as you, you do the same on top on the bottom, it's fine. And I can move the decimal point once to the right. It's because this is like multiplying by 10. Anyways, I can look at this fraction as 64 over 8. I get what? 8. And then for the second part, I'll just put down the multiplication. 10 to the negative 3 over 10 to the positive 6. They have the same base. I just need to figure out what's the new exponent. And to do that, we first keep the base to be the same and then when we have dividing what we do is we subtract the exponent on the top with the exponent on the bottom let me show you i will just first write it down as negative 3 which is the exponent on the top and then we are going to subtract the exponent on the bottom that's 6 and now we have to look at negative 3 minus 6 the answer to that will be negative 9 this is how we get the negative 9, which is a new exponent. And this is the answer. 8 times 10 to the negative 9 power. And this is answer choice B on the answer choices. That's it.